Mr. Lynch, what inspired you to start your own foundation? What inspired me to start uh, the foundation were uh, several things. Um, uh, friends uh, suggesting uh, that a foundation would be good to raise money to allow any student to start Transcendental Meditation. And the schools in America, I don't know about the schools everywhere else, but I think it's the same. The schools are in a pitiful state. Education seems to go down and stress seems to go up and people aren't enjoying school. They're not learning, you know, they're not um, happy campers and people don't like to go to school and consciousness-based education. This education that allows a student to dive within and experience this bliss consciousness, pure consciousness, the self, it transforms education. The container of knowledge expands. Happiness, inner happiness, strength, energy, power, ability to understand, appreciate fellow man, get that knowledge, have understanding of that knowledge, make it your own. It's beautiful education and stress, fear, anger, all these tensions, they start dissolving. So school is beautiful. Walking to school is beautiful. No suffering. It's so great. Why not give this to the students and give it to human beings and see this world get better and better and better instead of this dive into hell that's going on. And the second part is peace. This same unified field, pure consciousness, can be enlivened. And when I heard that a peace-creating group had so much power that it could bring harmony, coherence, bliss into the atmosphere, into world consciousness, and that it would transform this world to heaven on earth, peace, beautiful, beautiful life. I thought, oh, it's here, it's going to happen. People are gonna support this right away. Within weeks, we'll have peace. It's powerful technology. Nobody's listening. Nobody believes it. It's too good to be true, they say. It can't work. So the same old, same old, same old keeps going. Same old, same old, same old. While Maharishi works night and day to try to put this together, but little by little by little, I see because of these tours we've been on, the atmosphere is already softening, softening. People are listening and they say, wait a minute, this could be the thing. It's right on the edge of happening. And this foundation is trying to raise the money to help make it happen. Let's go back 32 years ago. What was the impulse that made you start meditation? Okay, um, 34 years ago, zero interest in meditation for me. Um, I'd hear about it, and then if I thought about it, I, would th I thought, um, the meditators were wasting their time and I like to do things and I don't want to uh, sit and do nothing I want to do things so this is what I thought how and I hear about things it goes in one ear and out the other then I hear a phrase true happiness is not out there true happiness lies within and I hear a little ring of truth in that but as I said they don't tell you where the within is, and they don't tell you how to get there. So I'm thinking and thinking, and I hear the word enlightenment, and I wonder if a human being, if there's something in the future, some way, if there's more to this, if there's some way that a human being has a potential that's greater. And I'm thinking, and it has a little ring of truth, but how and what is it? Then it, the penny dropped, and I start thinking, maybe this meditation is a way to go within. So I start reading and asking questions to people who seem to know things. And it all goes into the machine, this information, and you sift it and you think. And many forms of meditation are out there. 
So which one do you take? How can you trust this one? How, what is this one? What is that one? Everybody says theirs is the best. So uh, around this time, my sister calls and said she had started Transcendental Meditation recently. And she tells me about it. And I put this information together with what I've learned. But the most important thing, I hear a change in her voice. And I say, you know, this is, this is it. And the, the key to me was the mantra. A mantra, a specific sound, um, a word that you don't meditate on the meaning, but you repeat this word, specific, the key to open the door to that deepest level, pure consciousness. And I started, and I went down, and I, I took an introductory lecture, asked some questions, listened. Sounds good, sounds good, but what is it really? So I go to uh, my teacher on a Saturday morning around 10.30, and I get my mantra. I'm taken to a little quiet room. I'm told to sit down comfortably, close the eyes, start that mantra. And as I've said many times, it was as if I was in an elevator and they snipped the cable. <laughs> Vroom, I went. Bliss. Big, unique, euphoric, powerful experience, unlike any other. Unique. And I thought, what a gift. What, a, what an experience, so familiar, yet so much different than any other experience. And I've been meditating twice a day, never missed a meditation since then. I just wanted it, I got it. And I see what it's done um, toward mainly the side effect is re reduction of negativity, but this bliss, the enjoyment of doing, a uh, smoother ride uh, through life and uh, more awareness and more ability to focus, but the bliss of going forward just grows. So it's, as I say, money in the bank for the artist or the businessman or any human being. Money in the bank. Just add that to your life and go about your business. You don't have to change anything. Just add it to your life and go.